Howdy folks, it's Tall here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Here at last, the final leg of the Germany journey bush trip. I'm not excited to be done with the trip. It's just been some drama and confusion on some minute, fine, minute, some nuances on flying this aircraft that I'm um, not able to figure out <laughs> mainly because i'm recording these in succession without researching in between so if you remember the last video pretty dramatic and um, we had a pretty dramatic landing because i didn't want to hit the tree with the wheels but i counted it so i guess that's all that matters in the end maybe maybe not anyway final leg hopefully we can end this on a safe note looks like we're gonna land on someone's field again which is fine these are bush trips but um i just haven't I have not been on my game for this entire bush trip. I've been like a little off. Not sure why I'm not clicking with it, but anyway, let's finish this thing, shall we? Okie dokie, let's come down here and turn off some things. And get that ready to go. Come down here, turn on the pedo heat. Oh, come on. And the panel lights. Come on, you can do it. There you go. And zoom this out a little bit for now. Okie dokie. Let me get an overall view of this, though, so we can look at this altitude thing, because I admit I did not research altitude, high altitude in this plane since the last video with all that drama. And for those of you who left comments, I'm assuming people left comments, because I'm recording this before I even edited the previous video that I asked you to comment on. So if you commented, the video is not even published yet as I record this. So I'm thanking you ahead of time for all of your comments. I have not read them, because, again, you're in the future. So I still don't know how to fly this high level. Sorry, I did not do my due diligence. I just kind of want to be done with this, to be honest, and move on to Australia. Alrighty, I'll admit, I'll admit, I'm getting kind of antsy. Like I said, I've been off my game this entire 11 legs. I've been off my game. Want to move on to Australia. Fresh airplane, hopefully. Fresh part of the world, etc. I love Europe. Never been there in real life, but I love Europe anyway. But we've been in this part of the world for like over a year now. So let's, let's enjoy the last leg. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't lie, I cannot wait to be done with this. So let's get going. All right, so we're going to go north, north, a little north, um, west, east, sorry, northeast. So that puts us up here. Then we're going to kind of come south and then more this way and then over here. So we are headed. I don't think it's going to pop in here, but we're headed... I'm guessing like over here-ish, I think. So, um, I don't think we need, oh, why am I, why am I saying this? Because I don't think we need to worry about altitude, which is why I just said all that about your comments and stuff, not reading them yet, to learn how to do high altitude in this airplane. I don't need to worry about it. We're going to go this way, for the most part. Makes sense. I said that in such a roundabout way, I'm sorry. Anyway. First thing we're going to do is go back in the air instead of north and northeasterly heading and 14 nautical miles. We'll reach the town of Tutzing, which lies on the shores of Starnberger Sea. Five minutes out, probably here. At least that's what I'm anticipating. So let's see, eight degrees for six, five, <laughs> for five minutes. Put that away. Eight degrees, already forgot. Eight degrees, eight degrees, eight degrees, goes backwards. Eight. Come on, man. Eight, eight degrees. There, we're going to turn around. We will use uh, autopilot so we can look around. Um, we're going to go only 4,000 feet for this one. Go at a comfortably under feet per minute. Okie dokie. Let's get this ready to turn on. Oh, it's doing that funny bug again. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. Do we have enough runway? is the question. Wrong pedal. Uh, should we turn around? Let's go there, actually, and then turn around the other way. That'll be helpful, too. Um, wind, we have a tailwind anyway, so yeah, we don't want to take off in this direction. Okay, um, comfortable in my chair. Take the parking brake off, although I think it's put the parking brake on. Yeah. And we're just going to back taxi turn around and take off so anyway thoughts about this bush trip um it's not my favorite but it's still great the scenery started out terrible and then got better this mountain thing was fun and different 
but at the same time, there's either something wrong with this airplane or something wrong with me when it comes to high altitude. I won't beat a dead horse, so we won't talk about that at this moment, but it's either me or the airplane. Um, but I am excited to finish this trip. <laughs> this is one of the longer ones. It's about five hours and four minutes, I think they predicted. So for me, with having to pause it and take care of real life things, it's been about a nine hour trip. We'll see what it actually counts though when we land this leg. Um, otherwise, I mean, all the bus trips are great, but it's definitely not my favorite and probably lower than half on my list of favorites. So that's okay. Nothing wrong with that, but that's just how I'm feeling right now. Alrighty, let's turn around here. We're just going to take off right from here. We will do the timer once we're in the air, because we're looking at five minutes, I think it said. Oh, we're going to Papa Charlie. I never even said that, but that's where we're going. Yeah, five minutes once we're in the air. Flaps should be good. They are. And... Here we go. We need to clear that tree, which is what caused our rough landing in the previous video, the previous leg. I came over that tree, you see, off my nose. And um, I didn't want to hit it with the wheels because it will make you crash, we found out a couple legs ago. And I came slamming down the other side of that tree. <laughs> but I counted it. Why are we going to the left? There we go. Let's get some altitude. Wind or wind? Wind? Wings? Gear coming up. Good grief. Okay, I think we're over that tree now. <laughs> we can soften up a little bit. Here we go. Let's turn left. Let's start the timer now. I'm doing all this hand flying. Whoa. Like I've said before, if I weren't making content and organizing sightseeing shots and talking about what I was doing and all this stuff, I um, would probably hand fly every bush trip. But because of all those logistics, it's much easier to put the autopilot on, heading bug, and then do it that way props coming back a little bit so we don't blow it up here we go we are on course so it looks like Tenzing is on the left side of the lake five minutes out I think we're comfortable we're already near our cruising altitude so let's engage autopilot just so we can look around there we go all right now I'm back in the groove I think we're gonna Clear this hill easily. Might get a little bit of train turbulence, but anyway, there we go. So yeah, I thinking, thinking the city's over there. We're going up in the middle of the lake, which is fine, but we'll still look for the city. Um, and then we're going to do after that. We're going to go to Amersi, a lake that was formed in a depression from a glacier during the ice age. We're going to turn left for that. So I'm guessing this is Amersi here. Right? Amersi, they're calling it. Amersi. I'm trying to get the right wording because I'm reading too quickly. So yeah, so we're going to go over to there. So let's just put that away. 305. And then we got some quick ones. And then we got a decent one where I can rest my voice. So let's fly to the lake. Then we'll go left to Amersi. And then we'll talk about Pilsny, which is only a minute away from Amherst, apparently. So that must be one of these tiny lakes right next to it. We'll see which one when we get there. And then we'll continue. So a couple, a couple POIs without me talking. I just, I'll just see you at this little tiny lake. So we talked about them. I'm going to navigate us. And I'll see you in about 10 minutes or so my time.
All right, and there's our little lake. So let's turn 49 degrees. And, um, turn the clock off for right now. Whoop, I mean, let's see. So during that sight scene, I did a little bit of research. This is not a turbo prop in real life and in the sim. There's a turbo prop mod. This is not a turbo prop. So I did not get a chance to, whoops, the chance to look at the mixture part because I'll do that next. But um, I've done other non-turbo props with a blue prop thing and I move back mixture and I can climb really high. So I don't know what's wrong with this one. Maybe it's broken. I'm curious to see the comments y'all left on another video in the future. I wish I could time travel and then come back and comment on this. But anyway, there's a little lake. So what's heading? What's going after that? Now we're going to turn 58 degrees, which is not that one. It's this one. And we're going to restart the timer here. And then we're going to read about it. So we want to go to 58 degrees now. There we go. And what's going to happen in 5 minutes, 24 seconds? We're going to go Munich. Continue on your journey. In 69 miles, you reach Munich, the capital in most populous city in Bavaria. Is it Munich? I know some people say Munich, but I think it's Munich, right? So Munich is up there somewhere. Somewhere's Munich, probably here with all the big stuff going on. Um, I don't know. We're going to find out in, what, a couple minutes or so. I'm sure it's going to be quite obvious. <laughs> Let me see. The, um, yeah, I can see it already. Look at the outline of the city. Alrighty, so we're going to go to Munich. And then when we get to Munich, we'll talk about the next place. See you in a little bit. Right, we're coming up on Munich. Kind of obvious with the urbanization. Obvious. Did I say kind of obvious? Obviously. <laughs> words. Um, that's a fibromyalgia thing to say. Words that are repetitive don't make sense. Can't remember them. When people think of fibromyalgia, they think of pain. Yes, I do have pain. I've had pain since I was five. I fell out of a car when I was three. But for me, pain is not the top of my list with my fibromyalgia. A lot of it is word find, they call it. Not doing word find puzzles, but word find, finding the right words. Very, very short term memory problems. Um, someone can say, hey, my name is Jennifer. they be like, oh, hey, what was your name? Like that, like quick, instant memory loss. It's horrible. Um, hot flashes. I get legit hot flashes when people think of women going through menopause i get those hot flashes times 10. it is horrible i do not wish them on anybody why am i telling you this because you're my therapy apparently anyway yeah so that's why i'm always like repeating the same words repeating myself anyway okay so let's hop outside and enjoy the sight of munich munich i don't think it's munich i think it's munich is that an airport kind of no i think it's just industrial area this is incredible. Look at the mountains. Oh. Let's just take a moment, even though we're probably missing where we're supposed to turn. I don't care. Oh, the sim does such a good job. If you look closely, it does look post-apocalyptic. But don't look that closely. <laughs> look at that church right there. 
Again, I don't know anything about Munich, so I cannot be a tour guide. I apologize, but maybe it'll inspire you if you have the sim to go here. Or maybe if you don't have the sim and you want me to do this in more detail, please leave a comment. I do take requests for flights. I haven't had a request in a very long time because I've become like the Bush Trip Channel, <laughs> apparently. So, but I do take requests as long as they're not terribly long of flights because of real life stuff. Okay, it is time to do something, though. It is time to turn 136 degrees, which we need to go this way. 136 degrees. Oh, that happens every time when we're turning. It loses its focus here. I think there's a way to focus it, but then you're locked to it. 136 degrees. Let's restart the timer. Yeah, let's look out the window because we're missing it. Oh, we're missing it. Missing the turn. All right. Nice big turn, sweeping turn. Okay, what are we doing though exactly? For seven minutes and five seconds, we're gonna crash in the mountains. We're gonna look for light shock worky. Leet does that zach? Leet sock work. Verk is a verk of verky. I think it's verk. Leet's a verk. Turn nine degrees at Munich and travel to Nakamata. Leet a verk, a hydroelectric facility. That's going to be kind of cool. So we're going to look for a hydroelectric facility in six minutes or so. And then we're going to turn away from it so we're not going to crash into the mountains. We're going to go back this way. Good. Okay, let's look for this place and I will see you, whoa, in my time, seven minutes. But like 45 seconds for you. See you then. hydroelectric dam is going to be right here and I could tell because the um, reflection was perfect it's like a perfect square body of water and hydroelectric means water electric right or not a dam but a facility so the water comes from here it gets pumped in here and there's a perfect square of water and I caught my eye so I moved the plane over there because um, I caught it during the reflection so we are in the right spot for that that's very exciting See how oh, it's a perfect square. Perfect. So we're going to see if we can see it from here. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it, but I keep moving the plane over in that direction. Let's stop this because it's pointless at the moment. I just wanted to catch something. <laughs> we keep flying by everything. So, although we did keep, well, we caught a couple of churches and castles in previous legs. But, yep, there it is. So there's your hydroelectric facility right there. See the water gets pumped in this channel and then it does whatever it does and it's a perfect square into the facility. I just happened to look, and the sun, like, lit it up for a second. I'm like, there it is, because I was, like, staring out here like this the whole time. Alrighty, so let's fly by this thing, and then we will, um, I think it turns us around, actually. We'll bump my microphone. Sorry, it turns us around, but yeah, see. It pumps in water, so runoff goes in here. See, it pumps it in and does something. And there it is. Cool. Alrighty, it's time to do something though. We need to turn 89 degrees in a second and start the timer. I just want to see if we can see it. There we go. Okay, here we go. Start the timer and 89 degrees. So back this way again. East, north, east. Do, 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 do. 89, I would have said basically east. And you'll see Simsi, a lake in Bavaria's alpine foothills. And that's only five minutes out, so 
Um, here? Simsy? Oh, oh no, oh, never mind. It's going to be over here. Okay, it's still turning up, so I was going to say, what the heck. Okay, so five minutes out is either that one or that one, depending um, on how far five minutes gets, uh, gets us. Oh, then there's an airport right after that, two minutes. Then you turn northeast and begin descending to Bad Endorf. The end of this wonderful tour, beautiful Germany. It is. It's, it is, like I said, even though it's not my favorite, it's still wonderful. We're going to Papa Charlie, though. I don't see it on here yet. Oh, well, I have to go past that first, and then we'll see to the north. Papa Charlie pop in. Papa Charlie pop in. Alrighty, that's all the reading we need to do, so I'll give you some sightseeing until I get to the lake until Papa Charlie pops in, and then we'll land and pop on down to Papa Charlie. See you in a little bit. Alright, there's Papa Charlie. That is where we're going, right? Papa Charlie. Oh yeah, that grass field. Well, we'll do the best we can to find it. And what's it look like? Um, it's a middle of a field. A runway in the middle of a field. Okay, there's some trees around, but not too many. So, I guess we can start heading that way. Let's hand fly our way in just because it's fun. So I see a field in front of us, way over here. This is probably the vicinity of the runway. But I don't know. Let's bring back throttles and keep the same attitude so that we start coming down a little bit. Um, if I can't spot it, there's no harm in doing a flyover, which is what you should do anyway. If you don't know the area, you should definitely fly over the runway, see what it looks like, and then land. That's what you're supposed to do. Even if you do know the area, you're supposed to kind of check things out and make sure everything's okay. Um, let's see, maybe it's actually over here, instead of there, maybe it's there, or is it up here, maybe it's up here because it's, it's in, yeah, because it's the head and even to the left of the nose, so let's get some throttle back in there and level off, because now we're coming down too soon, we'll lose sight of it, and let's just look at that area. And we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, let's enjoy some final views before we go to the complete the different side of the world. Top to bottom, anyway. Southern Hemisphere. And then, um, we'll look forward to those bush trips. Alrighty. Okay, hang on. Now it says we're really close to it all of a sudden. So, where are you? Are you over here to the oh, I'm pointing with my hand like you can see me. Are you over here? Is it this right here? I don't think there's a, any building nearby. Yeah, there were buildings in the middle of the brown patch. Um, GPS, what do you tell us? Left, left. Where are you? Um, how are we on speed? We're okay. I don't see you, even though we're going around you, according to the GPS. It's not that back there, that bright green patch. No. How are vitals looking? We're good. Um, according to this, we're circling it. 
I don't see it. I really don't want to do pause, active pause and look around. I would like to find it. But I do not see this airport. Um, interesting. How are vitals doing? We're good. Um, where is it? Is it this? With that brown patch there? It is. Okay, we're staring it down. Gear down for a set of flaps down. We'll see if we can do this without a flyby. Um, kind of risky, but we'll see what we can do here. Oof. This might not go well if I um <laughs> try to make it like this. Ooh, this is kind of stupid. This is kind of dumb, but how else would Turtle do this, right? This is the Turtle way. This is, I mean, it's like we're landing on a tiny strip beached in a valley. Oh, we did it. Oh, I'm in the wrong scene position. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it was one of my better touchdowns to boot. Oh, that's funny. Let's roll this out, though. Because I think the runway is actually up here. <laughs> this is the runway. Here it is. Okay. One of my best touchdowns and it wasn't even the airport. I was wondering why there's that big hill in the middle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that is my sister texting me about her big snowstorm we're supposed to get. All right. It took me an, an, uh, one minute shy of an hour longer than it was supposed to. I enjoyed it. I won't lie. I'm glad it's done. I'm looking forward to the five. I think there's five. Australian bush trips, those are coming up next. That's what I gotta say. Those are coming up next. Like, subscribe so you know when they go live, and I'll see you next time.